The YYs are here in Georgetown, ready to rebuild a piece of history erected by their ancestors. They have been flown to the city to view what remains of an Amerindian pride, the Umanayana. This was according to Minister of Culture, Youth and Sports, Dr. Frank Anthony. And they're, they're working on an estimate for us what it would cost to do back the Benab. Uh, Anthony said that at this point, he is unable to even guess what amount of money would be required to put this piece of history back together. Asked whether the same YY group would be contracted to rebuild the Umanayana, the minister responded in the positive, adding, When the Benab was first built in the 70s, uh, we had to bring out people from uh, the you know, Region 9, um, guns, I think it was. And people came out and they were, um, they stayed in Georgetown and built the up. So we are going back to those same people. Umanayana means meeting place of the people. The edifice served as a VIP lounge and recreational facility for the Non-Aligned Foreign Ministers Conference held in August 1972 and was presented as a gift to the Guyanese people by the late President Lyndon Forbes Burnham. It was handcrafted by a group of YY Amerindians without the use of hammers, nails, and other conventional tools. The Omaniana was completed within 80 days and cost $26,000, which at that time had much more value than it does now. Rihanna Ahmad, HGP Nightly News.